hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Fowl Race episode with Inferno the Fox of finding an AI car across a blind crest. I love these trophy trucks, they're great fun to drive. However, they do have a habit of launching themselves off AI cars, especially when you've got that hill there. This one is now wedged between, well, a telephone pole and a wall. He's not going to get out of, uh, <laughs> of that. Yeah, pretty, pretty well Austin Powers, that one. Uh, Jim Lad at 43 up next is trying to get away from the police, as you often do on GTA 5. And you've got to love police in games. They often make a nuisance of themselves, such as this one, managing to... I'm assuming it was bouncing around from the kind of bridges, managing to skid through shot on its nose, misses everything. Already a pretty battered up police car, let's face it, before coming crashing back down for a landing. Yeah, the Fowl Race Police Department are rather uh, in attendance once more. Manual with clutch on GTA 5 has uh, noticed a tailgater doing peculiar things. Not just any old tailgater either. That would be Michael, who has decided to drive around in circles for no real reason in the middle of a relatively busy intersection. Uh, manages to avoid just about a couple of cars uh, before then driving into the side of a G-Wagon. It's pretty rare to find, I mean, you, you will find the, the characters kind of randomly driving around when you're as somebody else. Quite rare to find them going around in circles, though, for no good reason. Motorstorm 101 on GTA 5 has managed to freak out an AI car and then get stuck on the front of it. It might be one of the most impressive carries I've seen of a person. Eventually, though, <laughs> Michael slips under the Oracle and Lloyd, surprising amount of airtime as well, from the uh, car there. Up next, we are on to Mafia 3 with a car rather stuck. Quite how it got there, I'm not sure. Maybe it hit like an old Nokia mobile phone. Not that there would be those in the time period this is set, but that is perhaps the most likely explanation of how a car has been. <laughs> and it is stuck. It is stuck in there. It is not going to go anywhere whatsoever. Uh, the player tries bumping, it in, bumping into it Sorry, a couple of times, but... Yeah, you're not going to get that car out, and that's not the only one having issues. Gij on Mafia 3 as well is trying to take a shortcut that doesn't really quite pan out, as it is very much a dead end. The thing is, there's supposed to be a truck in that area that hadn't quite spawned in in time, and, well, it kind of spawned in on the player. Truck's now on the side, player car is wedged, and, well, spinning the wheel's not really going to go anywhere too quickly. Yeah, ve vehicles spawning in do certainly cause some chaos in uh, Mafia. Uh, Niv Racer on the crew is having police trouble. Yes, the Fowler's Police Department are once more back in action. This time, though, with some actually quite helpful tactics. They kind of guide the Volkswagen into a crash barrier. They do take out a couple of the police cars in that crash. However, after bouncing off the barrier, gets pinged across the other side and stuck on another. And that will be a busted player. So, pretty decent tactic, pretty decent tactic. However, they don't always get their tactics right, uh, especially when up against a much, much faster car. As you round the corner, police roadblock, can't avoid it in time, uh, pings off the roadblock at some 200 miles an hour and then bounces through the scenery. If your car changes direction and goes off through the grass at that sort of speed, the police are going to have a tough time trying to keep up with you. Mr. Troyano on ride two is trying to do some bike donuts. And they've not gone very well. His friends come to give him some assistance. Still not going particularly well. I mean, I say they're not going particularly well. The donuts are actually very, very good. The problem is the bike is now stuck in the floor, and you kind of can't undonut. You're basically stuck. That is the only thing <laughs> in this situation that the bike is good for. And Jill eventually, I think, kind of un un unhooks itself from the ground, does a wheelie, and then falls over. Uh, Roshake 11 on Just Cause 3 has spotted uh, kind of a bit of roof debris that he fancies making a ramp out of. Wants to get rid of this little car out of the way of his run up. The thing is, doesn't quite time the release of the grapple as the car bounces off the rock face and lands on his nice little ramp. Yeah, sad day. Sad day, that one. The, the, shall we go with a distinctive pink sports car is not going to get airtime from that uh, particular bit of roof. Falcons NK on Battlefield 1 is the gunner on the back of a car. The driver didn't quite notice, didn't, didn't quite notice the trench up ahead. That's well and well and truly Austin powers it. Um, a little bit more conventional than the trophy truck that got stuck on a telephone pole, but still... 
That is, it is pretty wedged. Amazingly, after a mini point turn, the card does actually get itself free. I thought it was going to be stuck in there forever, but no, he does actually manage to work it free. Up next, we are on to World of Tanks with Hazazan, who is uh, playing around with his friend in a much smaller tank. Tiny tank, in fact, that's now trying to get away. They both go for a jump across a rock face. They get away with it. However... Unfortunately for the little tank, it does slightly get driven over. The, the small tank gets rolled onto its top, and the big tank, well, Karma kind of got him as well, as he's now stuck on his side. Yeah, neither of them are really going to be able to get out of that. They could do with some assistance from the tank that's not really looking in the right direction. Yeah, it turns out, um, not, not such a good idea. Not such a good idea, that one. The other tank doesn't really care too much either. Black and Red 81 on the uh, IndyCar series. As uh, gets, I'm not sure if it's the player in this car or player in the other car. Gets things a little bit wrong, gets a bit wide, gets turned by an AI car and flips and twists through the air. But what is the more spectacular crash is from on board this blue car. As the car up top, yeah, gets turned sideways. The blue car, yeah, does a complete front flip of which half of it is underground. Unfortunately, the game kind of resets the cars quite quickly back to the pits, pit lane. So you don't, you don't kind of get the full effect of the sort of full aftermath of the crash in a super slow-mo. As the blue car hits the front wing of the spinning vehicle, the front goes through the floor. It's not really what you want to have happen with your vehicle. It does, though, come back up the other side. The white car, incredibly lucky to uh, get away with avoiding all of this. As, yeah, there's a full a full front flip. It kind of stops in me. I'm not quite sure what physics does there. It sort of stops the car going for another flip. Uh, or sort of another front flip. It then nosedives into the floor. And then we have a couple of rolls for good measure. Although not to be outdone by the Indy cars. Uh, we are on to F1 2016 with uh, F1 here. And as we head down towards the first corner at Hockenheim. The McLaren making a very, very good start. Makes up sort of two or three positions through that first corner. Up ahead though, things do not go so well for the Ferraris. As Vettel goes tumbling. Tumbling, 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 and shooting off into the distance. Yeah, bad. <laughs> a bad start of the race there for Vettel's car. Uh, I'm thinking that is definitely going to be a retirement from the uh, from the Ferrari. That, though, is going to be it for this video, guys. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. At the very top of the page is the Ferrari's clip submission section, and in there you can find all the rules and how to submit them. However, that's going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.